Hey guys, I'm going to explain a little bit about this, this assignment, the four P's of marketing. To get started, I'm going to uh, share my screen with you and you should be able to see something like this. And uh, this is the bottom of the assignment. This is a Word document. I'm going to give it to you as a Word document so you can download it and then open it up. Really, I don't care if you have the first page up here at the top. Uh, you can delete the first page if you want to. Uh, and then come down to here, and this is what you would turn in in Word. So I want you to just fill in these blanks. Just come in here and start typing. So I've done the first one for you. Uh, I filled in this. If you have this goal to get students to make uh, to take more classes from a local college, say at Lamar Port Arthur, this is something we've been doing for a long time. How would you change the product that we have? The product, of course, is the course that we're that we're selling. I guess. Um, if you want to take more classes, you could argue the, the product might be a little more than that. The product might be also the experience at the college that's part of taking classes. But if, if in my case, I just chose, and you, you, you do it your way on these assignments, you're be creative here and, and dig outside the box. But I just assumed, how would we get our courses to be better than they are? How can we change the product to increase sales, if you would? So we can hire better teachers. Of course, teachers are, are expensive, and the better the teachers, you know, uh, the more expensive they might be. You, you could get somebody to come in from MIT to, to uh, you know, teach physics, but it may cost a lot of money to do. But those are things you could do, possibly. Uh, to change the product. You might also look at, you know, um, getting better textbooks, uh, maybe platforms like instead of Blackboard or something like that to improve the experience of the class for the student. But those are things you could do with the product itself. Now, what about the price? What could you do uh, to increase sales of, um, of, of classes to students? Well, lower the tuition, right? You'd buy more classes uh, possibly up to a point. You can't take too many classes, but up to a point lowering the tuition. But remember, you lower the tuition, you have less money to come in. So how can you hire better teachers? Those are that's a problem, right? So, but you can. We're not really looking so much at the cost side of things right now. We're just saying, what are some of the things we could do on the sales side to sell the product uh, and make more sales? So in this case, lower the price of the book. And notice I'm doing two things. In fact, I may change this assignment. I didn't put it originally in, in here, but I'm going to put like one. Ah, that's not going to work real well. But, um, sorry, uh, there's two things I'm putting for each one of these. Hire better teachers and two, improve the courses by using better textbooks. One, lower the tuition, but also two here, you might lower the, the, the cost of textbooks. Uh, in this class, I'm making all these videos and doing all this work so that you don't have to buy a textbook. Uh, um, anyway, that's one thing we're trying to do as a campus is to lower the cost of textbooks for our students. Promotion, you know, we can promote classes. Well, you know, you don't want to just maybe waste a lot of money on promotions, but what smart promotions could you have to get more students to take classes? You know, um, advertise on social media, obviously. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of advertising on social media. I think Lamar Port Arthur has. You know, we've, we've also done advertising on radio and TV and so forth. Uh, but how would, you know, what are some promotions you could do? You could have a career day for high school seniors. What about place? Place is the, the hardest one of the four P's, I think, of the marketing strategies that we have. Because place is not just where the store or, or place that your store is uh, selling your product. It has to do with the distribution change. Uh, chain as well, how that product gets to market. And so I want you to be aware of that. Almost everywhere I say place, I also put in parentheses distribution because it's not just where that product might be uh, sold straight to the consumer. So in our case, though, we're, we're, our product is offered on campus, but now we're also offering it online. So that's kind of, uh, you know, more and more online. I've been doing online a lot of years, so it may not be a, a new uh, place, but it's it, it is uh, at least in the quantity that we're offering right now at Lamar Port Author. So uh, we could offer more online classes. That's a change in the place. We could open an, a Lamar Port Author in, in, uh, in um, Parkdale Mall, for example, and that might be more convenient. So that's kind of the place. But remember, like with Walmart, uh, Walmart is not just, if you're trying to sell a product at Walmart, let's say, it's not just the Walmart here in Port Arthur, but, you know, where is the product built? Where was it? it was, was it a factory? You know, uh, and how does that product, you know, what, what uh, could you do to change the way the product is stored in warehouses and those warehouses then uh, are sent to the individual stores. How, how does that whole distribution chain, um, chain, C-H-I-N, um, how is that, how could you change that uh, to sell more of, of the product, 
Okay, so you're going to fill in all of the rest of this uh, with your information. So, for example, right here, uh, what we might do is, um, hold on, let me do something real quick. Uh, we want to increase the revenue of local car, uh, of car sales at a local car dealership. Say, Philpot Ford, you want to, what could you change about the product of the cars? You know, the cars are the product, or maybe, um, you know, the, the experience of buying is part of the product. Maybe you can change that. But what would you, what would you change? Could you get different colors? Could you uh, maybe get some other cars to, you know, uh, high, high scale cars or lower, lower model cars that cost less? Uh, anyway, those kinds of things. Well, cost is also uh, something you can do with price, right? Sometimes you raise the price to actually increase sales. This is kind of interesting, right? Because some people perceive a higher cost, um, car to be more desirable and uh, maybe you could um, increase the price maybe you could decrease the price uh, because you'd sell more cars if you decrease the price but just keep those in mind that sometimes sometimes also you're not wanting to sell more cars but you want to get more dollar per car so you can sell fewer cars um, so it says increase revenue it doesn't say increase the number of cars that you're actually selling. So you can actually get more per car and keep the number of cars uh, the same or less. Just something to think about. What could you do to promote cars? Uh, could you change where you're selling those cars? More and more cars are getting sold online. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of these like this. But if you're wanting to, um, to, I've never seen this show, by the way, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. But if you're wanting to um, increase the viewership for that, uh, how would you do that? Uh, I've been told it's a good a good show, but I don't know anything about it. So that's my disclaimer. Uh, but what could you change about the product itself? Could you make the show better? Uh, what about the price? Netflix has a subscription model where you pay a price for a subscription. So I don't know how much leeway, leeway you have on that. Promotion, how could you promote it? Uh, what about the place? I don't know. It's being distributed on Netflix, so it's kind of everywhere. Uh, you know, you think think outside the box here. Uh, of ways that you could redistribute that, right? You, you, you know. Obviously, there's things like CDs uh, that you might, or DVDs, I should say. Uh, so I don't know. How would you increase the attendance of young adults and college students in Sunday school church services at a local church? So we don't like to think. Many of us don't like to think of really as church services as being a product. It's not something we want to sell necessarily, but it does have a lot in common with uh, the products that businesses would sell, right? We want to increase uh, the, the attendance, for example. We want to increase the consumption of, of the church services. So how would we do that? So what, what could you change about the product? Could you, you know, improve the, 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 the service or the experience? What about the price? Well, is there much of a price right now? You have to think that through a little bit. Um, promotion and place, you know, where is it being um, delivered? Uh, how about a lawnmower shop? How would you uh, sell more lawnmowers in November? Now, be creative here. Think outside the box. Um, you know, it's November. Lawnmower sales are going to be lax. Can you figure out a way that you could change the product a little bit or the pricing a little bit or maybe do some promotions or maybe change where you're selling? So those are things to uh, consider. Assume you own a, um, a a food taco truck. You have too much business. This is a little different. You have too much business. So marketing usually has to do with selling more. How do we sell more? How do we sell more? How do we sell more? But I'm trying to make a constraint here that you're not really needing to sell more. Um, that you can't really uh, at this juncture. You don't either don't want to buy another truck. Uh, you're a little leery of that risk, uh, or you just don't have the money to buy another truck. So you want to figure out how can you get more money from maybe from what you do to you do sell. So you're maximizing your revenue from sales. So just think about some of those things. All right. Um, assuming you're a real estate agent, uh, let me move this down a little bit. You're a real estate agent and you want to smell a sell a small house for a client. The house is in need of repair and it's not in a great neighborhood. So how are you going to do that? How would you go about changing the product? The product is the, is the house, right? Um, you know, the um, you have to come up with two things here on changing that product. How do you promote it? What about the price, right? What could you do to the price? The place is a hard one on this. And, and you know, I would say on some of these, if you really can't think of any what things you, you can do, uh, you can just say, uh, continue, uh, you know, do the best you can with it or continue what we're doing already. Um, so anyway, you can play around with that and see if you can come up with something. A goal. Pick your own uh, uh, pick your own goal for this last one. You are going to um, 
you know, pick a product and you can do a couple of these if you want to do these. You might do one of the ones you're, you've been doing for, like, for your business plan, for example. You could put that right here. But anyway, that's the, um, that's the assignment for this week. So um, good luck and let me know if you have any questions.